Ryan children. And I'm Trudy Trudd. And welcome to our grand finale of Lord of the Board. Ow! And who are our finalists today, Trudy? Adam Blompier, Brooke Bourgeois. They're playing on match designed by Rob Davio and Justin D. Jacobson. And now for the final time in this competition, let's head over to our much prized Adam Blompier. The rules. In Unmatched, each player will be taking control of a famous character from myth, literature, or movies, and these characters will fight in a battle to the death. Hooray! Each player will choose a fighter and receive a deck of cards specific to that fighter, an information card, the fighter's model, any sidekicks that fighter might have, and a health dial to keep track of your fighter's health. If their sidekick has a health dial, you get that too. If their sidekicks don't come with one, then take it as understood that each sidekick has just one health. For example, Medusa has three harpies. They all have one health and die even if they take but a single damage. On a player's turn, they get two actions and they must take two actions. They have no choice. There are three types of action and you can take the same action twice if you like. The first action is scheme. Schemes are these cards with the yellow symbol. Playing one of those cards, that's an action. Just do what it says on the card. Easy. The next action is maneuver. When you maneuver, you take a card from your deck into your hand. The hand limit is seven. Then you can move. You don't have to move but you can, and you and all of your sidekicks can move up to your move value. Medusa has a move value of three, so when she maneuvers, after she's taken a card, she can move anywhere from zero to three spaces, and her harpies can all do that as well at the same time. You cannot move through your opponent's fighters, but you can move through your friendly fighters. If you want more movement, you can maneuver twice in a turn, or you could discard a card and use its boost value, which is this little circle here, and add that to your current movement if you want to sprint further across the board in one action. And the final action is attack. Hooray! If you're a melee character, it says on your character card, if you are, then you have to be in an adjacent space to attack. If you're ranged, you just have to be within the same zone. These spaces with the same color, they're all part of the same zone. Spaces with multiple colors are part of multiple zones. For example, Medusa is ranged, so she can sit here and attack anyone in any of these zones. When you know that you can attack someone, you indicate who you're attacking, then spend an attack card face down. Then if your opponent can or wants to, and they really should by the way, they can choose to defend themselves by spending one of their cards face down. Both cards are revealed at once, then whoever has the highest card value wins the combat with defender breaking ties. If the attacker wins the combat, the defender takes the amount of damage that's the difference between the attack and defense values. For example, if Medusa attacks with a three, the defender defends with a one, then the defender will take two damage. There are three kinds of attack cards, red ones, which can only be used to attack, blue cards, which can only be used in defense, and purple cards, which can be used for either attack or defense. Some cards also specify which characters can use them. If a card, for example, has Medusa on it, only Medusa can use it, her harpies can't. If it has harpies on it, only the harpies can use it. But if it has the word any written on it, anyone can use that card. An important thing to know is that if a player runs out of cards in their draw deck, they do not shuffle their discards. If they run out of cards in their deck, their fighter is considered exhausted. Any time after that, when they will be forced to take a card and they cannot, they suffer two damage. Exhaustion is a killer because remember, every time you maneuver, you are forced to take a card and you have to do two actions. So if you can't attack, you are forced to maneuver twice and that is four damage if you are exhausted. The game continues, each player taking turns consisting of two actions, any combination of maneuvering, attacking or scheming until someone is dead and the other player is the winner. Thank you, Adam. Now, Brian, I have to ask, we've got Adam, we've got Brooke. This is going to be a battle for Sullivan's affections. Which way is he going to go? Well, well, I think it's pretty obvious. We've got one competitor who is beautiful, lovely, kind, intelligent, sexy, uh, and and so, so funny. And the other one is Brooke Bourgeois, so I think he'll definitely go for Adam Blompier. Absolutely. Let's see how this one came together. Bless. Congratulations, Brooke. You've made it this far. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Well, well, well. Adam Blompier, the big boy. The big number. The bad one. It's his house, and I'm coming in. Take it. You know, I think the world wants Brooke Bushwa to win. 
Everybody likes an underdog, and Adam is the biggest, meanest, regular dog. Your fairy tale journey is about to become a nightmare. This is unmatched. This is one of my favorite games. You are in my world. This is my channel, my crown, and anyone who tries to stand in the way of my victory, I will take everything they ever loved, starting with a pretty little boyfriend. I am the people's champion. And Adam Blompier, I'm gonna take this from you. I'm gonna take this as Medusa. I'm playing Sherlock Holmes. Brilliant, calculating. Book is playing Medusa. And that makes sense, a unstable, snarling beast who has terrible luck keeping a man. And just like Perseus, I'm gonna mount your head on my wall. I am Medusa, the queen of snakes, the queen of hearts, and the queen of stone. Look into my eyes, Adam Blompier. You will have to lower your sightline a little bit, but I'm gonna turn you into a rock. <laughs> Good luck. Well, Brooke, here we are. Here we are. Have a fantastic game. Have a good game. Bad form. Bad form. I am Sherlock Holmes. I will be going second, for I am the elder <laughs> of the two of us. Uh, and I place my lad here. And I will be placing Holmes, his little friend, Watson. Hmm. I'll be placing him. Yeah. Okay. Where would you like to place? Well, you must place Medusa here. Yes, because I'm first. And then your harpies must be in a space that's in the same zone as Medusa. So you've got quite a bit of a bit of wiggle room. Yes, wiggling like snakes. So I am Medusa. Look away! I'll be going here. And my harpies can go anywhere that is either pink or yellow in the same zone. Correct. Yes. My god, you've played this before. Maybe once or twice or thrice. Um, so I will be putting my little harpy babies. Are they babies? They're my babies. Oh, my little babies. Yes, I love them so much. Go to war, my little babies. <laughs> Please. Um, Bring um, me the head of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> and Watson. Don't forget Watson. He's you leave doctor. Watson alone. He's an innocent in all of this. No, oh, no, he's got a gun. He's just my cuddly little friend with facial hair mm -hmm. who dotes upon me. And speaking of, uh, I would just like to remind you of an extra little stake uh, that is at play for our game. Obviously, the winner will take the crown, the scepter, and the title of Lord of the Board, but there is one more thing on the line. Yes, Adam, I do agree that whoever wins the Lord of the Board final, I will be their boyfriend. No matter what, if they win, I am now in love with them. Good game, bro. Well, where do you have him hidden? Good game. Is he in the vault? <laughs> oh, you don't need to know where Sullivan is. Oh, thank God. You'll find him if you win the game. The mind games have started already. Adam's played a clip of Sullivan Brown saying that his affections will be won by whoever wins this game. Uh, how do you think Brooke is going to react to this? Well, Brooke is not known for being cool, calm and collected. Um, when provoked, she is known to murder. So uh, I think she's going to be pretty angry. Mm, looking forward to it. Got my popcorn ready, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know that this is a bit. I know that this is a bit. And I know that Sullivan loves me because I am me, and you are you. But? But I do hate it. Yes, you do, don't you? <laughs> Mind games. It's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna have a lovely, lovely game, and you are going to fester in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrific. I'll see you there. Uh, so we have our deck yes. of cards. We draw up to a starting hand 
of five. Now then, Brian, it's worth pointing out as the game gets underway that we're just having the one game here. It really is winner takes all. Yep, the stakes could not be higher unless you got to a butcher's and threw them up in the air. We should also say what our special powers are before the game begins. Sherlock Holmes, effects on Holmes and Dr. Watson cards cannot be cancelled by an opponent which means your faint cards, which otherwise would cancel my cards, uh, do jack shit, Brooke Bourgeois. Yes, that's fair. Well, my special power is that if you are at the start of my turn, anywhere in my zone, you lose, or a hero of my choice loses a health point. So that means if I'm on one of these bad boys, anyone who's in pink or in yellow feels the wrath of Medusa. If I'm on one of these bad boys- I hate those spaces. All of the colours feel the wrath of Medusa. Keep yes, ready. horrible. I'm also melee, um, so I can only biff you when I'm next to you. Uh, Dr. Watson, of course, is ranged, so uh, don't worry about him. He's yeah. got a gun. Uh, but you are ranged, uh, which means, yes, if you are in uh, a zone, you can strike me if I'm in your zone. Yes. You don't have to be next to me, although you can be next to me if you want to. Your harpies, on the other hand, are melee, so they have to come to me. Yes. Brooke, of course, playing as Medusa for this match. Very quick to move across the board. A very powerful character. Is this who you expected Brooke to play as for this match? Absolutely. Brooke is uh, very similar to Medusa. She, she's angry. Mm. She's full of rage. Uh, I hate her sisters. Uh, her hair is full of snakes. And like Medusa, you can never really rest around Brooke. What about the stone thing? Oh, yes. She turns people to stone all the time. But uh, uh, that's because she injects them with concrete. In fact, manoeuvring means you draw a card. The moving is optional. Okay, in that case, what we are going to do is we are going to draw a card. Very good. Maneuvering, eh? Gonna move this guy here. Cowardy. Because that can go one, two, three. Yes. Uh, so when you move, all of your creatures can move yes. uh, three spaces. You have a movement of three, which I think is fucking despicable. Uh, look at you, Mr. Rocky Magoo, with your only two. Walky Magoo. Walky Magoo, Excellent. with your little legs. Oh my, um, oh my god, the trash talk has started. Yes, um, so I've moved Medusa two. Um, I'm going to move this harpy. One, two, three. And I'm going to move this harpy. Hmm, can you get to me anywhere? No. Here. Great. And then, so that's one of my actions. And then the second action that I'm going to do yes. is I am going to attack you. You wouldn't. I am going to attack you. You I'm bastard. I'm going to attack Watson. Watson? Yes. Watson? Yes. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yes, I know. So let's place our cards here okay. when we attack. So. Here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Oh, damn it. So, I've put a second shot down, and you've fainted it, which means that I can't boost it. Yes, you can't. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Brooke <sighs> Ford Moriarty. Very annoying. Um, however, you do lose one point. Damage. Well, that is an irritant, Brookles. Very, very annoying. And that is your go, I believe. That's Two fine. actions, eh? And yes. Brooke has dealt the first damage of the game. Mm. How is Adam going to react to this? Very interesting. I think he's probably going to be cross. Um, he's probably going to be hurt, uh, professionally and personally. Well, well, well. Stupid, stupid Brooke. I shall attack this harpy okay. with Watson. Watson. I wonder what you're going to use. Hey, <sighs> I'm going to use that. Sweet, dependable, affable, cuddly, facial head, slightly posh, learned, well spoken Watson. There's something about Watson that I love so dearly. I wonder what it could be. You know what? Three, two, Okay, it's a draw. It is. Um, after combat, you get to draw a card. Yes. And I 
if I'm next to Sherlock Holmes, which I am, Dr. Watson and Holmes go to gain a health. So I'll just pop Dr. Watson back up to eight, I think. You bastard. You bastard. You're a bastard. You're a bastard. Using modern medicine. But I get to draw a card. <laughs> the ancient Greek like, what is this? Stupid medicine. Ugh. And uh, don't get me wrong, I do get another turn, which I will use to uh, go away. Brooke seems to be focusing a lot of her attention here, not on Sherlock Holmes, but in fact on Dr. Watson. Is this a shrewd strategy from Brooke? I would say so. Dr. Watson not only has a gun, but also can heal Sherlock. So this is a huge disadvantage if he were to lose Watson early. So in that case, it's my go. Um, Watson has to lose a health because he's in Medusa's zone. Oh, I hate that. Yes. I forgot about that. Yes. Look at you, you little doctor. Watch my snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Physician, snake thyself. Yes. Uh, stupid, horrible, bad, awful woman, terrible snake. Yes. Bad. Very good. Bad, bad, bad. Don't like um, you. Glad you're having a lovely time. Um, oh, so Holmes is here. I can't really get you that much. So what I'm going to do is all right i'm gonna move here mm. um go away no leave me alone but i'm having such a lovely time um so that harpy is gonna go there i want to block homes um well we want to protect medusa so that harpy will go there um I don't like where Medusa is right now because she doesn't have a lot of power. So we'll move this harpy here, this harpy here. No, I can't move that harpy there. No. I cannot. That's annoying. TT. It's annoying, annoying, Jetison. annoying. Don't mess up the rules of a game, Brooke. Not in Lord of the Board. The stakes are too high. You, you love that, don't you? Um, <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. You love <laughs> my boyfriend. Um, okay, where are we gonna move Medusa? I don't like where she is right now. It's not Once very good. Once this game is over, he'll love me. Move Medusa one, two, three. Come back. No, no. Um, and then we're gonna move. Did I move this harpy? I haven't moved this harpy yet. No. I'm gonna move this harpy. And this harpy is safe. Yeah, she's good. Okay, so I'm going to use, that was my move action. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to attack uh, Mr. Watson again. <sighs> let's see. Let's pop them, let's pop it here just for, just for symmetry. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Three, two, one. Okay, so you cancel all the effects. However, you lose two health. Well, well, well. You've got it in for my little doctor friend. Yes, I hate modern medicine. <laughs> you seem to have uh, this burning rage against my cuddly little pal. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't Look know away! Where that comes from. Look away! Um, fine. Very good. That's my go. This is your turn, sir. All right. Do you want to discard your cat? My cat. Discard your cat. Yes, well, this is all terrible so far. Oh, yes. well. it's not that bad, is it? Uh, well, I'm not enjoying myself because uh, you have all of your harpies and full health on Medusa and mm. you have been chipping away at uh, Dr. Watson, uh, which I do not like, and I will kill you for harming a hair on his head. I'm going to maneuver first, mm -hmm. and then I'll see if I move. <sighs> Interesting. Pop you there. Mm. Papa Watty there. And then I will maneuver again. Heroic tactics here from Adam Blompier, taking the two greatest characters in all of literature and literally running away. Well, yes, it is a heroic retreat. And uh, he runs as fast as he can because he can do nothing else to destroy Medusa. I am going to... I can't attack him. You're not in my zone. I'm not in your zone. Which I learned my lesson. It's fucking infuriating. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry you don't get to eat free health point off me, Brooke Bourgeois, with your incredibly OP Medusa character. What do you mean, Dr. 
Watson and Sherlock Holmes with your stupid amount of health because of your ability to use modern medicine because you happen to be in the Victorian era instead of in ancient Greece. Um, yes, I, I am sorry for science. I apologize. You should always apologize on behalf of science. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maneuver it as well. You're a scientist, Brooke. You should be on my side. I use reason. Yes. Move him here. Leave me alone. No! I'm going to attack him again. Goodbye, Dr. Watson. Please eat some shit. Can you I not defend? I can't defend. <laughs> what happens to Watson? Ooh! For health, please. And move each harpy three space. Oh, balls. I think I can also move them through opposing fighters. Or I can I can move them through friendly fighters, that's for sure. Through friendlies. You can't move them through me, unless it says on the card, which it doesn't. Yes, this is very oh, true. Oh, shit. No, leave Watson alone. Oh, Watson. He's my boyfriend. Watson is in so much trouble. Um, let's see. So where are we going to move? The harpies. Mm. Good luck. <laughs> play up, play up, and play the game, boys. Yes. Brooke, unrelenting in her attack on Dr. Watson here. Uh, she's absolutely destroying him. What do you make of it, Brian? It's amazing. Dr. Watson has lost four health. That's half of his health. He can't even heal himself. It, it, it's unbelievable, her attacks. A pickle. Is it? This is a pickle. Ooh, pickle town. Yes. The ancient Greeks loved pickles. <laughs> Cite your sources. Um, Homer. Yes. Famous <laughs> for it. Yes. Uh, Odysseus famously snacked on pickles in the, uh, you know, all the aisles. Oh, shut up, Brooke. <laughs> Okay, that's a hard claim there from Brooke that the ancient Greeks love pickles. Is there any evidence for this at all? Uh, no, you see, what's happened here is that Brooke has just sort of said a string of words and hoped that they may make some semblance of sense. But of course, uh, she just sort of scats them out like a, like a, uh, some sort of horrible jazz musician. Mm, New Orleans. Mm. Let's attack this harpy. Okay. <sighs> I'm not going to defend. God almighty, really? No. <laughs> this is not really. Boom, it fucking explodes. <laughs> it explodes. Oh, no, bang! <laughs> <laughs> so you're attacking um, which one? This one. Okay, she's dead. Get to fuck. Come back home, little harpy girl. Watson, Watson's in a bad way. You've spooked him and he's come out <laughs> blazing. He's used one of his guns on a harpy. Look, I'm not happy about it either, but uh, then I'm going to maneuver. Okay, Brian, let's talk about Adam's tactics here. He's had to use one of his most powerful cards, and um, what's essentially just a nothing sidekick, but he was forced into it. He was surrounded by harpies there. Real shame. That is very true. And to lose one of his guns, that is huge for Watson. But he needed to get out of there. He was going to be destroyed by those harpies. It reminds me of Brooke on a night out, those harpies. Really? Just surrounding people That's and me. devouring their souls. <laughs> I have to shoot them. <laughs> yes. Okay. So what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. All right. How many cards do you have? Five. Five. Okay. Um, so what are we going to do? Um, you can't take any damage because you're not in my zone. Correct. But I'm going to move. Where am I going to go? God, that gun. Been so much better spent on you. Yes, it really would have been, but you know. But you had me cornered, and I was going to lose Watson, so yes. I did what I had to. One, two, three. Uh, let's see. And then that's going to go to keep the harpies there to block homes. But actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to draw a card because I moved. And then, and then, am I going to spend this card to do that? Yes. You can defend. Oh, that's too bad, because I'm going to play um, a scheme, which deals two damage to any one fighter in Medusa's zone. So that means Dr. Watson is dead. Chip, 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 yo, see if your medicine can save you now. 
Doodaloo. Goodbye. Back to the sewers with you, boy. <laughs> Back to the sewers? Yes. I don't know where Dr. Where Dr. Watson is from? <laughs> yes. He's famously a sewer boy. You found him in yeah. the sewers. Yes, of course. Like the Ninja Turtles. Yes. Do you think Dr. Watson is a Ninja Turtle book? <laughs> well, How does that make sense? Well, Dr. Watson's dead. Oh dear. R.I.P. You killed a harpy. I killed your boy. That's a lot. That's that's a lot better for you. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, well. Look at this. Medusa plays a scheme, and Watson is dead. He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. And that is a huge blow to Adam. Adam is all on his own now. I'm gonna manoeuvre. Take a card. And I'm gonna stay where I is. You say we is, are ya? Or am I? Am I? Am we? Am I? No! No! I'm not. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. I don't want to. I don't want to move. But I. I, I don't want to move. Oh, I think I've broken Sherlock Holmes. Shitting balls. Ball bag. No, 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 I'm not moving. Instead, I'm going to scheme to can play this little game. Brooke bourgeois. Oh, yes. Boom. Eliminate the impossible. Choose an opponent. That's you, baby. And look at their hand. Choose one card for them to discard. Gimme. Oh, that's annoying. Let that's... me peek at your surprises. Very annoying. Interesting. Interesting. Well, now. I hate this. Ooh! Uh, we'll get rid of that, I think. You don't need a faint. <gasps> oh, I wonder what you were going to do! They don't work on me anyway. They work on any cards. Shut up. Yes. Uh, that's my go. That's my stupid go. That was kind of you, um, believe it or not. All right, so what are we going to do? <sighs> you have a lot of cards is the problem. And I don't like that. Hit me. I don't. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. All right, well, in that case, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna draw a card and then do I want to move? <sighs> hmm. 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 Yes. Hmm. Hmm. It's very interesting. Hmm. What are we going to do? Well, I guess, um, I don't know what you have in your hand is the problem. I know what you've got in your hand. Except for this one mystery card. You don't know what that, <laughs> that is. That card? Yeah. That card's a load of old bullshit. You will see. You will see. Um, what I will do is... <laughs> so I can't get to you as Medusa. No. Unless you boost your movement. I could do that. That would force you to discard a card. Cards you so desperately need. Or I could maneuver twice. That's the other option that I have. Yes. But I don't want to be next to you because you're gross and you smell. Um, so... <laughs> I'm from such a more enlightened era than you. You fucking reek. You live on a fucking rock. Where do you think you would be without the ancient Greeks? Happy. I'm gonna move a harpy here to force you one way or another. Um, and then... Any harpy you send to me, you will lose. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I bet Medusa smells real bad. Uh, <laughs> well, these snakes are surprisingly clean. I'm going to attack you, Mr. Holmes. Three. Bring it here, Brock, for God's sake. All right. <laughs> Thank you. It just looks nice, Brock. Oh, of course. Three, two, one. Flip. Okay. God damn it. Which harp are you attacking me with? I attacked you with. We'll say it's. This one. Biff! Oh. This harpy just appears out of nowhere and Holmes is like, science doesn't explain you! Bang! I don't like it, but I do get to draw. If Holmes is adjacent to the opponent fighter, deal two damage to that fighter. Biff! Dead! Bang! But I do get to draw a card. So 
very handy. Very good. What are you going to do, Mr. Holmes? What am I going to do? I'm going to do the only thing that I can do, and that is... Scheme. Eliminate the impossible. Let's see your hand again. God damn it! No, no. God the whole damn. hand? The whole hand! And I get to choose a card for you to discard. La di di, la di di. Uh, well, let's not have you bring any harpies back. That sucks. Oh, that's annoying. There you are. And for my next trick, confirm suspicion. Choose an opponent and name a value. Your opponent must choose and discard one card that matches that attack or defense value. And they, you must also take the boost damage of that card. And I believe you have a two, which has a boost value of four. Oh, frick. And I have to discard it? If you wouldn't mind. Ah, oh. and which one has to take it? Is it the harpy or is it the other one? That would be you. God damn it! So that is uh, four health four. off Medusa and full health on Sherlock Holmes. Jesus Christ. This is a huge play from Adam here. He's taken four health off Medusa in one go. It is amazing. Sherlock, still at full health, has now managed to take nearly a quarter of Medusa's health off her. She is not a healthy gal. All right, you done? Are you done? You brought snakes to a brain fight. <laughs> oh, I, mm. Bet you think you're clever. <laughs> Bet you think you're clever, don't you? All right, so what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? We are gonna come for you, Mr. Holmes, you terrible bastard. Um, actually, no, we're not. I'm going to take a card. All right, and then I have to do what I have to do. I have to attack you. You can't defend yourself. Uh, that is three damage to you, Mr. Holmes. And you have to discard a card. Oh, man. Once again, Brooke attacks. Adam cannot defend. He must have terrible cards. Absolutely. He's lost three health in one turn. Adam's going to have to regroup, rethink, refocus. You Brooke bastard. Uh, we're going to maneuver. Mm -hmm. On two into the fray yes and we're going to maneuver again okay i'm gonna maneuver again you're not in my zone though i'm not in your zone and that's i will never be in your zone never be in my zone smarty smarty pants and you All know right. who's not going to be in my friend zone your boyfriend oh 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 i'm gonna hurt you it's oh. been a change to the zoning laws brooke bourgeois Oh, you're gonna be in the twilight zone after I knock the living daylights out of you with all my snakes. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're knocking the daylight out of me, which will render me in twilight. Well, you know, that kind of hangs together, Brooke. Shut up, Adam. You, um, you shut up. I'm going to maneuver. Okay. Ha. Huh. I don't like how close you are to me. So what are we going to do? Apparently, I smell. You do smell sewers of London. Um, if I smell of one thing, it's tobacco smoke and opium. Yes. Both delightful. Can we get there? God damn it. Okay. So I'm going to. I drew a card. Uh huh. And I'm going to move. Which way? Which way are we going to go? One, two, three. Come and back, then, Howard. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> One, two. Um, are we going to go here? No, where did I start? Gosh, I wish I had Watson. Three. I'm sure you do. Wish I had Watson. Yes, I'm sure you do. Um, three. And then, it doesn't help me as much. One, two. So I have to go the other way. So I'm I'm maneuvering twice is what I'm doing. Okay? You okay? Yeah, that's my go. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, I want to be here. Ah. There we go. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Anytime. Well, we're going to maneuver first. Oh, 
Move number one. For goodness sake, Adam Blompier is running away again for the third time! It is ridiculous. He must have terrible cards because Sherlock Holmes is a melee character. He needs to be getting in there and trying to fight Medusa hand to hand. Instead, he's just hightailing it out of here. He's like Bonnie and Clyde. I want no part of this mess. Yes, I see that. I see that. She's horrible. <laughs> she's horrible. She is. She's really horrible. But. Yeah, she's the worst. But you know. There are worse things that could happen. Um, hmm. Worse things happen in Greece. Yes. She looks like you. She looks like your mom! Um, sorry. Are you my mother? Yes, I am your mother. Um, well, you must be very disappointed in me. <laughs> we always are. Um, okay, we're gonna move. We're gonna maneuver. I'm gonna grab a card. All right. Hmm. Well. It only helps us under one situation. Okay. That's my Fucking move. Fucking three movement, man. And God then, damn your eyes. Wait, wait, wait. And then where else are we gonna go? You're brown. So you don't want to go. You do want to go next to me. Of course, you want to just hang out. Um, you're probably gonna go more into the brown. All right, we'll go back this way. One, two, three. Um, and then I'm going to attack you. Don't do that. Yes. Uh, whom are you attacking me with? Oh, you can only attack me with the harpy. I can only attack you with the harpy. Three, two, one. Show me your hand. God damn it. You just get to look at all my stuff all the goddamn time. I okay. see everything. Holmes just sort of narrows his eyes and just kind of looks you all over. It's mm -hmm. like, scowl, insecure. Hair rattled, disorganized, uh, fury, white knuckles clenched, fear of losing her boyfriend to a handsome detective. Ooh, you've got a, a few cards here, haven't you? Adam getting attacked here, but crucially, he's getting to have a look at Brooke's hand. What could this do for him? Well, this is going to be huge. Sherlock can do this throughout the game. He can continually look at the opposition's hand, and that gives him a massive advantage tactically. If he can utilize this, he could win this game. Does he deserve it, though? No. Oh, I bet you're the one who's rattled now. Ha ha ha. I'll just a faint. Okay. A boring card for a boring player. Um, right. Right. My go, eh? Mm -hmm. Master of Disguise! Choose an opponent. Home swaps, swaps places with them and deals them one damage. Oh. See you later, alligator. And then I'm going to run away. Okay. And take a card. One. <sighs> Very hard to get away from you. Oh, don't run away. I just want to be a fan, Mr. Holmes. Stupid. Stupid. Ah. Um, so I can get one, two spaces of movement because Sherlock Holmes is slow, boy. And I can get you wherever you go. Yes, but at least that will require you to maneuver to get me. Yeah, which is annoying, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so, very good at avoiding my zone. <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, Mr. Holmes. Um, so, I will have to maneuver. <sighs> okay, so what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna retreat to my mind palace. I'm gonna go here. And then we're gonna try to block you in is what we're gonna have to do. So that you have to go. Well Brooke, do fuck off. One, two, three. I can go three. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so then I am going to attack you again. Three, two, one, loop. Ooh! I can choose to change your card's value from a three to a two, uh, but I, I'm not going to. That's my point. Um, however, you do have to discard a card. You're weeping. Shedding a tear for my lost huge card. Oh! 
Oh, that is delicious, Mr. Whoa. Holmes. All your little snakes. <laughs> Just like having a bunch of friends with me all the time. What are their names? Um, it, there's um, Sleepy, there's Wacky, <laughs> there's Dopey, I can't even name the seven dwarves. Burpee. But my favorite is Gassy. the sweet, sweet boy who is loyal to me always, Snake Sullivan. Never trust a snake frog. Unless they're your hair, in which case you gotta trust them. Otherwise you're fine. See, where are they gonna go? Yep. All right, that's my go, Mr. Holmes. Where are you going? I'm going to maneuver. Mm. Interesting. I bet you are. Shush. Shush. Mm. Shush you. Shush you. Uh, I'm going over here. Leave me be. And, uh, Let's confirm some suspicions, shall we? Okay. I pick a value of a card, attack or defense, and if you've got it in your hand, you must discard it and take the boost damage. Okay. We're going to go with four. Four. Okay. I think it's really one. So I started at 11. 11. Minus four. Which card are you discarding? I have to discard Hiss and Slither, which is very annoying. That's correct. So Boost I... value of three, you're down to eight. For the second time in the game, Adam is using one of his biggest guns, confirmed suspicion to great effect, dealing Brooke some serious damage. It's amazing. Three damage to Brooke, and she loses an amazing defense card. This is a great play by Adam. Big boy moves. All right. It's a maneuver. How many cards do you have? Pun? How many cards do you have? Loads. Okay. Bloody loads. Huge amounts of cards. Swimming in them, I am. Brian, does Adam know he doesn't have a poker face? No, he's not aware at all. I remember once playing poker against him, actually, and uh, he staked his house in the end against me, and uh, and he got his hand, and he looked at it, and he said, whoopee, whoopee, hooray for me. I've won today. Hooray for me. And, uh, and I folded, and I won his house. One, two. Mm-hmm. And then... This is intense. Yes. Oh, I'm in a bad way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a scheme card. What? Yes, which lets me um, move a each of your fighters up to three spaces, including to ones that contain other fighters. Mm. And then I can return a defeated harpy to mm. any space mm. in Medusa's zone which is very handy. So I'm gonna move this guy to three. So can't escape that way. And then one, two. Look at this, Brooke has got Adam surrounded. Adam's got almost no cards. How on earth is he gonna get out of this one? I really don't know. He's got no way of defending himself. He needs to run, run, run away. Well, at least he's good at that. I'll maneuver first. <laughs> Wonder where you're gonna go. And I'll maneuver again. <laughs> okay. Is that your go? <laughs> He's so nervous. Granted, you still have 13 health and I have 8 health. So that's yeah, great. yeah, oh yeah, I'm sitting pretty, me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, I just want to oh, shank you. Because I, you started a turn in my zone. Yes, 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 yes. You have to take a point. Down to 12, yes. yes. Which is fun for me. Um, and then, what am I going to do? Hmm. I will maneuver. Great. But then, I can't miss upon an opportunity to attack Holmes. So. <clears throat> Play this card face up. Predict the printed attack value on your opponent's card. If I get it right, your entire card is worthless. Mm -hmm. Three. Three? Where's the three? It's worthless. Worthless. Oh, God damn it. Uh, if you predict the correct value, cancel all effects on your opponent's attack card and ignore its attack value. God damn it. I all will right. see you later. How many of those do you have? Two. Okay, that's my go. A huge defensive play from Adam here. He really needed that to succeed. Absolutely. He predicted Brooke's card, making it useless. <laughs> and she's going to take that fury out on me. Yes, because we broke up. Skadoosh! All right. 
the strategy. Dead. Dead. You cannot cancel the effects on Holmes cards. That is annoying. Dead. Dead, please. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. dead. dead and then I'm going to maneuver. Okay. Here we go. Adam has killed one of Brooke's harpies, and now it's time for his signature move. Running the f away. So brave. So brave. Strong. So strong, so brave. What a strong choice. What a good man. That's fair. See you later. I thought you might go that way. Okay, so in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to maneuver. Okay. Hmm, can I get to you? No. Nope. Hmm. Not with um, not with Mads, unless you discard a card to boost your movement. Yeah, and I don't think I'm going to do that. No, coward. <sighs> yes. Slither away like a snake. Yes. That's right. So with that maneuver, I'll, I'll obviously move this guy here. Leave me alone. Never. Give me a fucking break. Can you not have a fucking Kit Kat, Brooke? <laughs> no. Just give me a time out. I've got so few cards. It isn't fair. What do you mean? You could, you could literally attack me from anywhere. Maybe Mr. I Bobby. will. I think that's your plan. Um, it's ridiculous. Okay. This isn't fair. It isn't fair, is it? I'm a learned gentleman. You can't treat me like this. How many of those um, big homes attacks do you have? Hmm? Big five ones? Those would be two. Two. Interesting. Okay. They're both in my discards. They're both in your discards? Yep. Oh, well that's handy. Um, so I'm pretty safe over here, sitting pretty. I hate Medusa so much. She's so powerful. <laughs> she hates you too. She moves so far and so fast. Okay. I'm not worried. You're not worried, are you? I'm not worried. You're not worried? I'm just never worried. Okay. Okay, my violin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good luck getting out of this one. Um, okay, then I'm just going to maneuver again. Cowardy. Or do I want to attack you? Attack me, why not? I wonder what you have in your hands. I haven't seen many of your purple cards, is the thing. <laughs> what do we want to do? <laughs> okay. Well, you're probably just going to attack me with Holmes, the thing, so um, I'm going to attack you. Alrighty. With my happy. Three again. Okay. Nope. 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 It's a one. Oh well. But um, after combat, I draw one card. So. Cool. <sighs> All right. It's your turn. Maneuver. Where are you going? Are you going anywhere? You shush. Shush you. No. Nope, I can't move three spaces. No, you can't. This Holmes is a, he's a, he's a sauntering man. Mm -hmm. Adam Keats running away, but he is wiping tears from his eyes. Do you reckon that means he's got good cards, Trudy? Well, I'd say he's probably having a great time over there, feeling confident about uh, his next couple of moves in the match, maybe even thinking he's going to win. That's the end of my excellent turn. That's the end of your go. Oh, I'm sitting pretty, but bourgeois. Are you? It's good to know. Okay. You know who else sits pretty? Who? Salambo Brown. You shut up about my boyfriend. Oh, he won't be your boyfriend for very long. He's updating his Facebook status to It's Complicated. I'm sure he is. All right, so, um, let's see, we're gonna move this guy. All right, good luck getting out of that. Um, <laughs> Oh okay. yeah, there's no way out. No way out of this pickle. No, you can't go there. Just well, I can go this way. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, but I'm gonna attack you. Don't attack me! With Medusa. I don't want it. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, three. Two, one. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, you may boost this attack. So that means that's seven damage. It's four damage. Oh. Because I take three off. Okay. So I'm down to eight. 
Eight versus eight. It's an even game. Shut up, Brooke Bourgeois. Even Stevens. And that is a huge move by Brooke, dealing four damage with a boosted attack to Sherlock Holmes. Maybe Brooke's right about modern medicine. Hmm. You know, I've got a PhD. Really? What's in? Makeup, obviously. That's on purpose. How f***ing dare you, Brian? What the f*** is wrong? How f***ing dare you, man? Maneuver. Maneuver again. Okay. Do you think Braden running away is a good tactic? <laughs> Shut up, Laurie. Shut up, Laurie. Don't talk tactics to me. I am in the final and you're not. Shitting fuck. Maneuver, maneuver. <laughs> but I am. Can't change that. Okay. Um, so we will maneuver. Okay. And then, where are we going to move Medusa? Where, oh where? <sighs> okay, we'll move Medusa. Here. Coward, eh? No, not necessarily. And then I'm going to attack you with my harpy. Three, two, one. Three versus three. Dead. You kill my harpy! Why indeed? Oh. Adam has successfully killed Brooke's last harpy. It's Medusa versus Sherlock. They're both on eight health. What a contest. This is going to be an epic match up between these two. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be the biggest thing I've ever seen since the last board game I saw. I'm going to maneuver that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I suppose I just have to start punching you. Mm -hmm. um, so, let's then. Okay. Hang on. So I'm here, right? Mm -hmm. And I've maneuvered, but I haven't moved. There's not much I can do to escape you right now. So I am going to go there, and I'm going to bop you on the nose, Ayaz. Bop you on the nose. Three, two, one. Fuck a dog. Um, well, changing your values does nothing, of course. Mm -hmm. and I must discard a card. Well, I'll discard one of Dr. Watson's. He's dead, <laughs> yes. of course. That makes sense. Okay. Is that your go? Yes. Very good. All right. So in that case, you have to take one damage because you're in my zone. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes. Um, but, all right, so I'm going to maneuver. I like being right there. And then I'm going to maneuver again. Great. That is my go. Maneuver. I'm going to boost that movement. Oh, wow. And I'm maneuvering again. Running away. I'll stick there. Okay. That's interesting, isn't it? All right, so we're going to maneuver here. Okay. All right. Let's eat. And then I'm going to attack you. Three, two, one. Boosting that. So it is a value of four that you will lose. Brooke has boosted her attack here. Adam has taken four damage. And he's only got three health left. One more attack like that. And Adam is done. And Brooke is Lord of the Board. So I'm down to three health. Yes. But you get to look at my hand. Yay! Oh, if you won the opponent. But you didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? No. 
No, it's not funny. None of this is funny. This is a tragedy. This is a sad story. They will sing so sad ballads of how sad this game has been. Well, I don't Boo know. Boo hiss, they'll say. Boo the hiss. You're a villain. You're a Medusa. You're Sherlock Holmes. You. Love oh yeah, famous opium. villain Sherlock. <laughs> You murder people! Yes! Oh, sorry that I, I relax occasionally with some recreational opium. It's not my fault I murder people! I was just born so ugly <laughs> that when people look at me, they die! Well, they don't technically die, they turn to stone. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So that was my go. I'm ma maneuvering. Where are you going? I am going to... Uh, boost that maneuver with three. Jesus. So one, two, three. Well, look at this here. It's the old standard. Adam is fing legging it. It is beautiful to see. Look at those powerful legs. Mm, streaking off into the sunset. Absolutely. Where will he find his new home? Maybe on a different farm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. You know, you're in trouble now. Am I? Yes. Oh, ho, 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 Brooke Bourgeois. You don't understand the kind of pickle you're in. You can go there. There. You're just running away. <laughs> I'm retreating. It's a tactical retreat. Okay. Brave, 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 Sir Adam. <laughs> <laughs> this is genuinely ridiculous. Um, okay. I guess I have to maneuver. And uh, we're just going to be exhausted is what's going to happen. Yes. Which is very bad for me. Yes. Very yeah. bad for old Adam. How can I get to you, is the question. Um, if you just stick there, is the thing. And then you're moving again? Yeah. And I'm gonna take another card. All right, that's my go. Maneuver. <laughs> and I'm gonna confirm suspicion. This is just a guess, because I have no idea what you've got in your hand. Two. Two. So when that happens, what occurs? You discard a card of your choice with the value of two, and then you take its boost value in damage. Two damage. Yes, mm. that's right. Chipping away. Yep. <laughs> Good. All right. I'm going to discard that. No, I want it back. OK. Well. What are we gonna do? I have to take a card. Come here. And uh, I have to attack you. Three, two, one. So I win the combat, you have to draw a card. Okay, but I have to draw a card regardless. Okay. So you draw two cards. Okay, and then what does that mean? That means, Brooke, you're exhausted. This is a crucial moment in this match, Brian. Brooke is exhausted. She's got no cards left in her deck. What does this mean? Well, it is very dangerous for Brooke now. Every single time that she is instructed to pick up a card and she cannot, she takes two damage. That means that Adam has a really good shot. If he can just wait her out, he can win this. Okay. Okay. I am maneuvering, oh. taking my last card okay. and boosting it with that to go one, two, three. Okay. And then I am scheming. I swap places with you and you take a damage. Oh. Take a damage, please. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, so is that your go? That's my go. Oh, and how many cards do you have left? I have one card left. Okay, I'm gonna move here. 
in order to move, you have to maneuver. In order to maneuver, you have to pick up a card. And as she cannot pick any card, she's going to take two damage. This is a huge risk. She has to make this attack count. Three, two, one. You will not turn me to stone. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. I am a thinking man. Yes. If you won the combat, your opponent must take a card, which you can't do. So you take one damage. I take one damage. No, you take two damage. Okay, so what do you want? One. That takes me down. Fuck. Takes me down to one. Fuck. Okay. No. <laughs> Look at this, Trudy. Adam has to maneuver twice. But he's exhausted. And he's going to take four damage. And he's only got three health. Which means. So I have to maneuver and take two damage down to one. Remind me how much health you've got. I've got one. And you have one. <laughs> I have to take a second action. <gasps> Are you serious? And I don't have any cards. So I take two damage. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking it so well, Adam. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Oh, he's just really a chill guy, you know. I never, uh, you know, played with him before, but uh, he was like, ah, you know, I own a copy. Here, you can borrow mine. Play a couple games. One point! That was really good. What a gracious host. She's done, She's done it. it! It's incredible! She's the Lord of the Board! The Lord of the Board! She has won Lord of the Board! The People's Champion! The very first Lord of the Board Champion! The Champion of all of the Rose Bars! Incredible! The Champion of Sullivan Bow Brown's Absolutely Heart! Absolutely incredible! This is unbelievable! Let's head over to our competitors to see how they're feeling! One point! One point of health is all you had. If, if I hadn't boosted one time, if, if I had guessed a different thing for um, one point, this isn't fair. I, we, we, why are we only playing one game? Why, why can't we play best two out of three? One f***ing, one f***ing point. One point. That's, I, I'm Lord of the Board. I deserve this. I put this all together. It's mine! It's mine! <laughs> yeah, I uh, I think Adam is... I think he's gonna be fine. Um, I think he's gonna be fine. I mean, that's what happens when you mess with love. That's what happens when you mess with love. That's what happens when you mess with love. Adam Blompy Losier! That wasn't, his, that wasn't my finest, but I, I won the game. I'm feeling good, but it was it was really close. I was I was shitting, as were all of my little snakes, yeah, but we came out on top, and that's all that matters. So suck it. And as for you, Sullivan, my darling, my sweet, simple boy, as Lord of the Board, now you will have to feel the punishment of the state and God and me for agreeing to Adam's little ploy. I love you. Kiss, kiss.
have it, Brian. Love wins here at No Rolls Bar. The people's champion, Brooke Bourgeois, and your Lord of the Board 2022. Yes, thank you so much, everyone who's been joining us here for the tournament. Please let us know in the comments if you have enjoyed it. And hopefully, this time next year, we'll see you again. I've been Brian Children. And I've been Trudy Trotters. See you next time. Get, Get on board! board!